can the Razer Death Adders drag click high CPS? The shorter answer is it really depends on the Death Adder mouse that you have. But overall, as a TLDR, a lot of these mice are not ideal for drag clicking. I'll rank them from best to worst based on my current data. At the top, you have the Chroma and 2013, then you have the Essential 6400 DBI, then the Elite, and lastly, the V2. Allow me to explain why I rank them in this order. First, I'll talk about the Death Adder Essential. I actually own that mouse, so I will drag click on it and compare it to a Rokat Kane 102 to show you that I'm just not simply bad at drag clicking. So let's get into drag clicking, shall we? Okay, so I maxed around 12 CPS while trying to long drag. So before you say, hit Razor Grip Tape on it, I'll do that right now. Okay, Razor Grip Tape. Yeah, so even with Grip Tape, it won't register your clicks because of this high debounce time. So let's try bolt clicking. So for comparison of CPS capabilities, allow me to drag click with my Rokat Kane 102. And let's try vote clicking with it as well. So as you can see from my demonstrations, basically this mouse isn't that good for registering your drag clicks. However, I think like say if you have this mouse, you may be able to moonwalk somewhat consistently. So if you own this mouse, your hopes of, I guess, being able to do a fancy bridge isn't entirely over. So this mouse could register two to three clicks around there for short dragging, and that is pretty much sufficient for moonwalking with low CPS. Next, let's move on to the Death Adder Elite. Here I've compiled screenshots and a video of someone drag clicking on the mouse and it'll help you determine its CPS capabilities. So in this first video here, you're going to be looking at Bellis Snoop's video. Basically, he talked about the Death Adder Elite in his Mono O wireless comparison video. And here, as you can see, he only got around, I think, 14 to 15 CPS while long dragging. So moving on, this person got 18 CPS while long dragging without holding the mouse. Then I looked through some comments. This person got 15 CPS. This person got 9 CPS. This person got 12 to 15 CPS. And lastly, this person got 9 CPS according to Reddit. Moving on, I talk about the Death Editor V2 and why it cannot drag click that well. So basically, a few weeks ago, I saw this video of someone drag clicking or claiming to have drag clicked 44 CPS with the Razer Death Adder V2. I did some investigation and turns out that they made it in a comment section that they only got 15 CPS. So I suppose this may be confusing people on whether this mouse can register drag clicks or not. So I guess I want to remake another video explaining why this mouse cannot register your clicks that well. Mice with optical switches don't use debounce times at all. They instead use artificial delays. So according to someone from Razer in Mouse Review, um, Discord forums, basically he said that the minimum time between press and release on mice with Razer optical switches was 27 milliseconds. Essentially, most of your drag clicks will be canceled out due to this high artificial press and release delay on these mice. So like always, it's not because of switch type, but it's because of artificial delays or debounce times that these mice cannot drag click. Fourth, I move on to the Death Adder Chroma. In this screenshot here, this person got 30 CPS. In the second one, this person got 40. And lastly, this person says that they got 15 to 16. And to end off all the Death Adders, this person has the Death Adder 2013 and they have gotten 20 CPS. Unfortunately, I lack data on this mouse because it's very old. And also, I do have to say that I've seen people drag click on older Death Adder Essentials, but I lack data on that, and therefore I cannot rank it. Lastly, I like to say that even though the, the Death Adder Chroma and the 2013 may drag click pretty good CPS, right, it's above 20, I'd say that you shouldn't buy it because of its outdated sensor and, you know, build quality. So if you want a mouse for drag clicking, I recommend buying a Rokat Kane 100, 
102, 120, 122, Cone Pro, or Cone Pro Air. Those are pretty good options. Another good one is the A60, A70, or the Bloody 8 Bedless. And as always, happy drag cooking.